Hey there, this is Stacy. I hope everyone's having a great day. I thought I'd come on today and do a completely random, random haul of just a different collection of different things that I've gotten in the last, oh, I don't know, maybe two weeks or so. So I know that a lot of the drugstore brands have tons of new product releases here. And I've gone to the store and I think I probably saw everything at CVS. They had just collection after collection and it's kind of funny because they're all starting to copy each other, I think. Um, lots of them now have like, I guess maybe Clinique was one of the first ones that came out with those um, chubby sticks, which is the lip balm slash gloss all in one. So they had them and I think, I think everybody has them now. All the different drugstore brands followed along. So. You know, Revlon came out with them a while ago, and now there's CoverGirl ones, and who knows which ones. I think Neutrogena has some, and just everybody has everything. So this is a product that I did actually pick up because I love my YSL Glossy Stain. Whoops, and this is the one that I have, and it's the Coral one, um, number seven, and it looks like this. So this is the YSL one that I've had for quite some time. So I was just going to kind of show you real quick. It comes with a brush that looks like this, just kind of like a doe foot sponge kind of applicator. And you put it on and it's supposed to be your gloss and lipstick all in one. And it's real pretty. Let me set that one there. And then I picked up two from L'Oreal. And this is what theirs look like. These are their new ones. And it's cute, it's in this little pointy one. And of course I couldn't figure out for the longest time how to even open it, but all you do is screw the bottom off. So I did get two, and I was gonna tell you about my great shopping skills for the first time probably ever. These are $9.99 at Walgreens, and it was buy one, get one half off. So that was $15. And then when I got to the checkout stand, they told me that I had $10 in reward dollars to use toward my purchase if I wanted to. So of course I said yes, because I was so excited and proud of myself that I got two of these for just $5. So I thought I did great, probably for the first time ever. And probably if I would have had some other sort of coupon, you know, if I had taken the time to look in the newspaper or somewhere else, I probably could have find or could have found one from L'Oreal. So anyway, these are the two that I got. And this is what theirs look like. So it's pretty darn similar to the YSL as far as the style of it and all. Now I do have this one on today. And this one is number, uh, oh, there we go, number 185. And the name of it is called Lilac Ever After. And that is what I have on today. And I really like it. I think it's a great product, especially for $9.99 um, regular retail price on these. So I picked that one up and then my daughter helped me pick out the other one that I was gonna get because I really couldn't decide what color to get. And we decided on kind of a red one. And this one's number 190 and it's called Endless Red. And I tried this one just once. I'm kind of a little bit on the more paranoid side when I wear bright reds like this and I wore it to my daughter's basketball game recently, but it's a real pretty color right there. It goes on more sheer on the lips than that. And I just have to get used to wearing some of these different colors. I know everybody's kind of into the reds right now and all the companies are coming out with reds and other bright colors. So perhaps I will get into that as well. I think it just takes a little while to get used to it. So anyway, I'm kind of trying to wipe it off on my hand and um, you probably can't see, but it's leaving a pretty good stain there on my hand. So hopefully it kind of does that on the lips as well. So like I said, I have this one on now, the um, lilac one. Then another product that I saw, and I don't really know if it's new because a lot of the products from Milani say new on them. So this is what it says. It says it's new. I don't know if it really is, but Vanessa, um, Miss Lipstick Vanessa, I think is what her name is here on YouTube. She had shown this recently and it's the Brown Deluxe Shadow Eyes Eyeshadow Pencil. And I haven't purchased any Milani products in a while and this is just so, so pretty and I, I kind of walked around the store actually for a little while with another color in my hand too, and I didn't get it because I just knew I needed this one. The other one I probably have so much of already, but it's just a gorgeous color. You can see here, it's just so smooth and creamy when you put it on. And I actually, you know, put it on my eyes when I wore it and then kind of blended it out a little bit with my fingers. And you could also use it as an eyeshadow base if you like that. 
but it's just a real pretty coppery brown color, which is just a color that I like a lot. Then I needed some new shampoo, so I went over to my Ulta store, and right by the entrance they had a bunch of clearance things, and I just decided to try this. I haven't used it yet. It's from Paul Mitchell, and it's the Moisture. It's the Instant Moisture um, Daily Shampoo and Daily Treatment. So I don't know, but if you guys have used it, let me know. I just like to use a moisturizing type shampoo since I do color my hair every so often to get rid of the grays. So um, like I said, I didn't use it yet. Um, I'm still using my other stuff up. I was down to the very last of the shampoo and I thought I'd try this. Then I went over to the section of just hair products and I'm looking for something to help me with the curl in my hair. And for once, actually, I wanted to buy something to enhance the curl in my hair. And obviously you can't see the curl in my hair today because I've straightened my hair, but I do have very wavy hair that's kind of like sort of on the verge of getting more curly. And I think just as I'm aging that it's getting more so like that. My mom had kinky, curly, curly ringlet hair. And so I never know what to do with it because when I do go to sleep with my hair wet, when I wake up in the morning, I have some pretty good curls in my hair and it's, it's sort of kind of cute. But I don't know what to do with it because you can't really just go outside like that. I think you need a product on your hair to keep it from getting frizzy and all. And maybe you girls with curly hair can help me out here. But the girl at Ulta recommended this product because this is a line that she really knows about and it's from Kenra. And it's the Curl Glaze Mousse for Shine Control and Definition. So I did buy this. I haven't used it yet because obviously I've, I've gone straight here since I purchased it. And I'm actually filming right now because we have a rainy, rainy day today, and we're having another rainy, rainy one tomorrow, so there's no telling what my hair is gonna look at when I go outside and run my errands today, so I thought I better film before I get out in the rain. But anyway, if you have curly hair and have any kind of recommendation on a product that I could use to kind of define the curls and waves in my hair a little bit, where it's taking away frizz and kind of, like I said, kind of defining them, making them look pretty. So anyway, I'm gonna try this and I'll let you know what I think. Then the last product that I purchased there at Ulta was a nail product. There's a new line called the Mariah Carey Collection from OPI. And there's four colors that are, I think there's maybe eight altogether, but four of them are from what they're calling the Liquid Sand Collection, and the rest are just regular colors. Maybe some creams and um, kind of more metallic -y type colors. But I picked this one up. I thought it looked really, really cool. And the color is called The Impossible. You probably can't see that word on there, but it's called The Impossible. And it's sort of a fuchsia red type color, kind of maybe a raspberry red color. And I put it here on my thumb so you guys could see it. And what it is, is it's supposed to be a matte finish and then it has the glitter in it. So you use a base coat and then two or more coats of this. This is just two coats that I have on here today. And you can see there's lots of glitter and sparkle, but the finish is just a matte finish. You don't put any uh, top coat on it or anything, which I guess you could if you wanted, but they don't recommend it. They recommend just to have this type of finish. And it's really neat. It's kind of like, almost like a matte background. And then it has the glitter and all standing out. And I'll get close and maybe you can see the glitter there. You can see there's stars in there. And then there's just kind of like some big pieces of chunky glitter and some smaller pieces of glitter in there. So it's just kind of fun. When I did mine, I didn't pick up any of the stars. I didn't really attempt to pick up any of the stars. I probably could have tried to get one on my brush, but they're, I guess, a little heavier because they're bigger, so they settle at the bottom of the bottle. So I thought this was really fun. It came in a variety of colors. You could look online. Lots of people have swatched them and put them on their blogs, and they're really neat. There's a bright blue color that looks kind of cool, but I just thought this one would be fun for me. So like I said, I just put it on my thumb there real quick so I could show you guys, and it dries super, super fast. And I'm gonna put a blog post about this as well. I've already started that, I just need to upload it. Then the last thing that I got that I'm really excited about, I had gotten from Cebu Beauty. And this is what it is. I've talked to you guys about a lot of the Cebu Beauty products before, and the Cebu Beauty products contain the sea buckthorn berry in them. And that is an omega-7, 
which is supposed to be really good for you, for your skin, your cardiovascular health, all kinds of things. And so they just came out with this, which is, whoops, some chocolates, which I love chocolate. I try to have a piece of chocolate every single day. It just keeps me happy. So these came in the mail yesterday and I immediately had one. And it comes with milk chocolates and dark chocolates. So the milk chocolates have an orange flavor to them and the dark have a mint. So it's just a really cool little box here, or a big box actually. Whoops, there's my empty wrapper. I put it in there, sorry. <laughs> um, here's what they look like. They come just individually packaged like this. Um, it's a great big size piece of chocolate. And like I said, it came out of the mailbox and I immediately opened it and ate one. And like I said, I had the milk chocolate today. I'll try the dark chocolate, but they're supposed to have, or they're not supposed to, they do have the 250 milligrams of the Omega-7 Rich Sea Buckthorn product in them. And it's supposed to improve cardiovascular health, better insulin sensitivity, sensitivity, healthier cholesterol levels, mucous membrane support, stronger tone and texture of skin, hair, and nails. And it says they're delightfully decadent, and I definitely agree with that. So those are from Cebu Beauty. I believe you can just order these online at their website, and I'm excited to have these. So anyway, I hope everybody's having a great day. If you have any questions about any of the things that I've shown, let me know. And I appreciate everyone watching. Welcome to my new subscribers. Happy New Year, and I will see you all again soon. Bye.